Especially stopped the run. Um, did a great job of stopping the run. Um, and did a pretty good job managing, I think, two of the things that we can work on as a defense from this last game is creating turnovers, getting the ball more um, in the hands of our offense, giving them more opportunities, and then um, doing a better job of playing defense and rallying to um, big, big changes, um, like turnovers, the, the two turnover, the block punt, and then the, you know, the interception. We, uh, as a defense, didn't defend those situations very well. So I think those are two things that, as a defense, we can uh, do better at. How'd you do a buck? Um, I felt pretty good. Yeah, felt good about it. Do you feel like going back home or do you prefer to be outside? Um, a little bit of both. Um, there's some pros and cons to both positions, and I, I enjoy both of them. So wherever. I don't really care, you know, <laughs> just playing ball. Does the defense ever get frustrated when the offense struggles? Um, I mean, as a natural response, sure. But the offense gets just as frustrated at themselves, and offense gets frustrated at defense, and defense gets frustrated at defense. It's, it's a team sport. And um, if, if the question was aimed, do we blame the offense at all? No. You know, they're out there trying hard and, and, and playing hard, too. So, you know, we're... Uh, you know, they did a lot of things well and, um, you know, struggled in some areas, but uh, we weren't perfect either, so. On the whole, though, defense is always superior to offense, right? Well, <laughs> as, as a defensive player, yes. So, so what you just talked about, though, really, that's, I mean, that's a mental standpoint. That's an attitude. Physically, though, with a lot of not just three and outs, but boom, 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 three and outs. Physically, how did you guys hold up on the defensive end? Um, I felt like we did well with that, too. I felt like we've done a great job of training in this off season and camp coming in. Um, it was a lot. Though. I, uh, I think I personally had 70 plays, and uh, which is more than I've ever played in a game. And, and I'm pretty banged up, but at the same time, um, was able to to get through the game and do it. And, and uh, I felt like we were prepared for that that challenge, that um, physical challenge. But that's a good question. Texas comes in after putting up 715 yards of offense. When you look at that and what you've seen from their offense, I mean, g g kind of give us a little bit of a scouting report on, on the Longhorns. Um, they're talented, and they do some things well. They do some things really well. And uh, But, you know, we've, we've played high-powered offenses before that put up big yards, and, um, you know, we're not scared. We're... Uh, we're excited for the opportunity. Is there anything similar from what they showed you guys a couple of years ago? Yeah, yeah, it's the same, same thing, same a lot of the same players too. Um, so uh, yeah, we're not expecting much different than we saw in that game. What's a what's a home opener like at Lavelle Edwards Stadium? It's fun. <laughs> it gets pretty rowdy. Um, they get pretty loud and excited. So we're we're excited for that. We're anticipating a. Good crowd and a lot of energy. So, Since you can talk about the play of Wani Unga. Had one of the best games we've seen in a long time mm -hmm. in terms of uh, Mike Linebacker. Yeah. Talk about his play. Uh, well, phenomenal player. So, to us, no surprise mm -hmm. on, on how he came out and played. Um, just a competitor. And you saw it, you know, play after play, taking on blockers, shedding the block, making the tackle, and uh, just a fun guy to play next to. Uh, you know, great player. He played really well. I know there's some unknowns on whether or not he will play. What, what would it mean if you lose him? Um, it, you know, anytime you lose a guy that's a consistent part of your team, um, it hurts a little bit. But at the same time, I trust with 100% confidence his backup, which is Austin Jorgensen. And, you know, he's a great player and came in at the end of the game and played well, played solid for us. So. Um, the fortunate thing about our linebacking crew is we've got a little bit of depth, and so we, um, I don't think we lose much when, uh, when Austin comes in. Great player as well. Can you talk about Rob Daniel and what he was able to do out there? Uh, Rob did a great job. Um, you know, it was his first start here with us and, and uh, did, a, did a great job, was consistent, and which is what we needed from our corners. And... Uh, he played a great game. I was really proud of him, the way that he played, the way he flew around, too. He's really adopted the, the mentality of BYU defense and is, is a good player. Same thing can be said about Sky Pova and Dan Yeah, exactly.
same thing. Guys might get over that loss at different levels. I mean, in, is it an individual thing, or do coaches say, hey, you need to be over it by this time? Oh, yeah, if you're not over it by now, you're, we're losing time. Um, it's, it's time to move on. We've got a big opponent at the end of this week, and, uh, you know, work through your things, your stuff on, on the weekend. And we came in and watched film, corrected mistakes, took care of issues that we needed to, and, uh, you know, you put it to bed after that, and it's time to go to work. It's all Texas now. So. What do you make of Texas offense? Uh, they're talented. Um, they're, they're, for the most part, they play pretty hard. Um, their running backs run hard. And, uh, you know, I think uh, it's a good challenge. It'll be fun. Are you glad that you're coming off the kind of game that you did while Texas is coming off a cupcake? Um, I don't think it really matters. I think at this level, um, well, you ought to be able to prepare for your next opponent, regardless of um, the outcome of your previous game. So um, I, I think they'll, what I'm trying to say is I think they'll come into Lavelle Edwards Stadium ready to play um, a hard fought game. Their coaches will get them ready. Um, and so I don't, I don't think there's any advantage or disadvantage. I think it's just going to be a dogfight come Saturday.